This time of the year, we are all looking for ways to beat the heat. Here in Georgia, it's sprinklers in the garden, popsicles for the kiddos, and bug spray for everyone. But what about helping your birds beat the heat? Hi, I'm Melissa from Southland Organics, where we find natural solutions to natural problems in your lawns, gardens, and coops. Learn more at southlandorganics.com. Summers are filled with fun, from days by the pool to fresh produce from the summer garden. But let's face it, sometimes the heat is a little overbearing. In the case of our feathered friends, a little too much heat can be stressful, dangerous, and sometimes even deadly. So today, we want to take a couple minutes to talk about heat stroke in your backyard birds, what it looks like, what to do if it happens, and how to prevent it to begin with. Like dogs, birds don't sweat. Their number one mechanism of releasing excess heat is respiration. Because of this, one of the first signs of heat stroke is panting. Your birds may be seen walking around their coop behaving normally, except they're panting. They might also hold their wings away from their body to allow extra air to flow to their unfeathered areas. These birds are not in immediate danger, but should be moved to somewhere cooler. Birds in danger of heat exhaustion will do all the things I mentioned, just in a more exaggerated manner. You may also notice changes in their social behavior and the color of their combs and wattles. For these birds, your goal is to lower their body temperature as safely as possible. One of the quickest ways to do this is by submerging their entire body in cool water. It's important this water is cool, but not ice cold. Water too cold can shock their system and make things worse. After their cool bath, place them in front of a fan somewhere shaded. Soon you'll start to notice their breathing go back to normal and the color return to their combs and wattles. There are some super simple ways to help prevent heat stroke and they aren't all that different than what you need to stay cool. The basic principles are water, shade, and ventilation. Your birds should always have the option to step out of the sun into a shaded area. It's also important that the indoor or covered space is well ventilated. The indoor portions of small coops tend to get stuffy and even hotter than some outdoor spaces. The best way to prevent this is setting up a small fan. Simple, right? Birds always need fresh, clean drinking water, but it's even more important in the summer months. The heat and sunshine also make a great place for algae and other gunk to grow in your birds' waters. So make sure you're changing the water regularly and keeping them clean. When temperatures are high, chicken electrolytes are used more and their bodies lose them at a faster pace. Adding an electrolyte supplement like our hen helper into your hen's water helps their electrolyte levels stay stable even in overheated conditions. And offering frozen treats to your birds is a great way to cool them down on hot days. The summer heat brings with it longer days and loads of fun but we should always be conscious of the danger it can pose for our feathered friends. Heat stroke can be serious and deadly, but is also easily preventable. Make sure your birds are staying cool, keep an eye out for the earliest signs of heat stroke, and act quickly when they appear. Do that, and you and your feathered friends will beat the summer heat together. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions for us, please email success at southinterganics.com or call 800-608-3755. Be sure to subscribe for more information on raising happy, healthy chickens. Until next time, stay cool out there.